Aisha Shermaine and y'all before I get into the video y'all know to do like comment share tag uh like comment share tag and subscribe just that simple and follow me on all social media Aisha Shermaine so y'all I have been I told y'all I was battling you know doing vegan and vegetarian pescatarian kind of mixed all of that to start eventually getting to vegetarian vegan diet right so okay i did that video and i have been trying things like in between since doing that video so since doing that video i have been you know i did incorporate more fruits and vegetables into my diet as well as um one night i made vegan nachos which i did post a short of ah my bad. I did post a short of the vegan um, nachos. So those are really good. Me and my youngest daughter told him up. I used chickpeas and cashews for the meat substitute. And I followed Tabitha Brown's recipe to the T. So that was really good. Um, and then like for breakfast and stuff, I've been really just like avocado toast, like some plant-based stuff. So so far, so good. Um, I'm not full on there yet, but I'm about to start recording my journey with this vegan stuff, vegetarian stuff. Um, slowly but surely, it's going to be a process for me. I'm not going to go straight vegan, but I'm probably, you know, since I am a person, I don't eat pork, but I was eating red meats. So I'll cut that out and then I will cut out eventually chicken and just be, you know, fish, shrimp and until I can cut that out. But it's a process and I'm and I'm starting it but you know it's been a good process and don't mind this stuff back up here that's my morning tea so I did oh y'all and I got clothes on I mean you know I got my robe on but I got clothes underneath I did try this tea from Tabitha somebody in my comments said that I would love it and I did it's definitely like it's it helps me in the morning to feel alive like and so I have found these at TJ Maxx. These are the honey spoons. So I just make a cup of that tea and put one of these honey spoons in it, let it melt, and then just a little um, agave. And that's been those. That's been good. And then um, I did get back on my vitamins and my apple cider vitamins. So I feel better i don't feel sluggish and all of that and bottom line tt done gained some weight so <laughs> tt got to get back down to that that pregnancy way okay when i had my last baby three years ago so tonight i am bringing to you um this smoothie i saw online and this is basically kind of be my dinner because i have not ate dinner yet and i'm, I'm really not hungry but i want something because i'm gonna wake up hungry so just want something to hold me over for overnight and then eat again in the morning so this is going to be a healing turmeric smoothie. And basically the benefits of this is just, it helps with inflammation and it just helps um, internal healing, digestive tract and all of that. So that's what I will be making tonight. So it said you will need vanilla extract. It's on one recipe, it said fresh banana. One recipe said frozen. I'm going to use a fresh because that's what I have. Um, it said chia or flax seeds, but I have the medley, which is the hemp, chia, and flax seed. I'm going to put a little bit of Greek yogurt in mine, but it didn't call for that. Um, frozen mango chunks. And then I have cashew milk. It said some type of nut milk. So I got that. I got a fresh chunk of ginger. And then it said ground turmeric which normally you would want the fresh one, but I didn't go to the store that I know carries the fresh one and I didn't see it at the Walmart I went to, so I just used what I had. And then ground cinnamon. Now, normally a smoothie needs ice, so that's why I got some ice, but let's just get into it. All right, y'all, so make yours how you want to make it. Let me grab a spoon.
this is simply a test for me. So I am going to put a little bit of Greek yogurt. And I know yogurt is um, still dairy. Again, we getting it. Knocking everything over. Okay. So yogurt is still dairy, but again, I'm this is what I'm doing for me right now. Just to be getting to where I need to be. So I'm not gonna put a lot. Mm. Yeah, I'm really just finna wing this. I don't have the recipe yet, and I'm not gonna go get it again. But yeah, okay. So that's like a spoonful. I'm gonna put those in mango chunks, cashew milk. Really, I'm just kind of eyeballing everything. Um, cashew milk, literally a pinch of pepper, like not too much. My ginger chunk. Let this in. There. Okay. Cinnamon. Really should have looked at the menu, y'all. I mean, the recipe, y'all, because I don't really much know. Dang, my turmeric not open. Let me tell y'all something. Got my turmeric open. Be careful with this. It does stain. And I um, turmeric is good for the body inside and out. Because I use this. I use a turmeric face mask that helps my skin. So, I ain't got time for that. That is doing, so I'm just going. And be kind of cautious. Turmeric got a little powdery taste. I ain't even see how much fall in there. I think that's good. And then, after the turmeric, I'm gonna put like half this banana in there. Really hope this is good. All right, half the banana. Put some of my chia flaxseed mix. Maybe. Okay, it's something in there. Okay. It's something in there. And then just a splash of vanilla. Now, it did say use vanilla without alcohol in it. Um, I just bought the Kroger one. I don't know if this got alcohol. Ooh, they do got alcohol. That's what I had on hand. So use what you got on hand. Don't go out buying all this extra stuff to make this stuff. And then I really don't keep ice in the house because I eat it too bad. I'm just gonna put a little bit, y'all, just because I want that extra iciness. But the recipe did not call for ice. And I'm just assuming that's gonna dilute a little bit of the properties. But yeah, gonna blend this out real quick. Pour it in a cup and see what we hitting for. All right, y'all. So you may not have to put the ice in it because those mango chunks that I put in it was kind of thick. And I guess since it's a small batch, it really didn't, you know, do a lot, so we're gonna get a cup and taste this. All right, y'all. So it smells pretty good. Um, smells like cinnamon is mostly what I smell. It's really thick, so I definitely wouldn't add the ice. But let's see. I'm gonna be honest. It really tastes like cinnamon.
And I guess I'm really used to, I can taste the turmeric too, but I guess I'm really used to those artificial smoothies, you know, where everything is really sweet and they be sweet. That's what it looks like. So, it's good, but it's scary. <laughs> eating healthy it takes a lot to get used to this i probably i probably would drop an orange in here just for a little piece of orange or it's healthy like nothing has sweetness to it but i guess that's what it's supposed to be right y'all help me i'm struggling i'm gonna get through it though this is day two all in but um this is a struggle. I might have to use fresh mango instead of frozen and maybe frozen banana. Just so the fresh mango can give me a little more sweetness. This one this one rough, y'all. Well at any rate. That's what I came to y'all. Wish me luck. I think I'm going to make me like a little leafy salad. Some baby spinach and um, some nuts. I don't even know what I got for a salad. I know I got some stuff, some Parmesan, some baby spinach, like shredded Parmesan, baby spinach, some croutons. Something. Something, y'all. I need something. Maybe I should use my almond milk too and not this cashew milk. But honestly though, since I just took them gups, I can really feel something happening. Like my body feels, and I know y'all like, she crazy. But no, my body feels like open. Like I can feel it going through me. So I guess that's a good thing. Um, but we're going to see. I'm going to bring y'all on this journey with me of getting fit. Titi got to lose some weight. So, all right, y'all. I will see y'all on the next video. The next two videos I'm probably going to post is going to be a little pre-recorded something old. Um, just because I got to catch up on some things. So, bear with me. But, um... Thanks for all the love and support, and um, I'll see y'all in the next video. Follow me on all social media at Aisha Charmaine. Mwah.